Let's talk about plant starters and root boosters. Is this something you should be using in the garden? So what are they? What are plant starters? Well, a plant starter is a special type of fertilizer you put on your plants as you're putting them in the ground. The claim is that these special fertilizers grow bigger roots, more roots, and as we all know, a plant with a good root system has a strong top growth. So they're good for plants. I mean, why wouldn't everybody use these things? If we have a close look at the fertilizer, they generally have an MPK formula of something like 10, 50 to 10. That middle number, the phosphate, is really high. It's five times as high as the nitrogen level. I mean, most fertilizer is more like a 10, 10, 10, right, where they're equal amounts. But this is super high phosphate. Phosphate grows roots. Well, that's what they claim. Now, it is true, plants need phosphate to grow roots, but they also need it to grow leaves and stems and fruit and flowers and everything else. Roots don't actually need more phosphate than the rest of the plant. That's a complete mess. What is the best MPK for your plant? There has been lots of study on this, and for most plants, an MPK of 3, 1, 2 works well. These are ratios. So a 3, 1, 2 is the same as a 6, 2, 4, or a 9, 3, more nitrogen, about a third of the amount of phosphate, and potassium kind of halfway between those two numbers. That grows the best plants. In fact, research has shown that too much phosphate makes plants grow tall and skinny. They have weak stems. Too much phosphate also inhibits mycorrhizal fungi. Now, you might not have heard about these, and I will make a video on mycorrhizal fungi, but these are natural fungi in the soil that associate with plant roots, and they actually help plants grow. Well, if the fungi helps plants grow and you add too much phosphate, you kill off the fungi, they can't help your plants. The third problem with plant starters and root boosters is that the excess phosphate eventually ends up in the oceans and rivers and they pollute the water. We get more algae growth. That chokes off the oxygen in those lakes and kills the fish. We also have a shortage of phosphate, apparently. So in another 25 years, we might run out. So we have to be careful how much we use. There is absolutely no science supporting the idea of putting a lot of phosphate in the soil. These root boosters, they do not grow better root. So what do I use when I put a new plant in the ground? I don't use anything. My soil already has enough phosphate. And in fact, most soil in North America has lots of phosphate. The plants have a bit of trouble getting at it, but there's lots in the soil. You do not need to add more phosphate. Don't use plant starter products. Don't use root boosters. And while we're on the subject of high phosphate, that's the reason you use bone meal as well. Don't use bone meal in the garden. None of these products should be purchased by gardeners. None of them are doing any good for your plants. I just saved you a couple bucks. Go buy yourself a nice plant instead.